If you're looking for all the answers, I don't have them. But what I do have is a particular set of skills. Skills I've acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people who mislead, misinform, or misrepresent the sports card industry. So if you don't do that, I'll let it go. That'll be all. But if you do, I'll talk about you. I'll try to point it out so we don't repeat your mistakes. Welcome to another ep I'm taking my glasses off. See, usually when I do my speech, it's very dramatic. I take my glasses off. Then I put them on, but now I'm reversing the order, so I'm all screwed up. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing well in these uncertain times that we are living in. Uncharted territory. Hopefully there is light at the end of the tunnel and there is good news soon. We all could use it, but I hope you guys are all doing well. What do you guys think? I keep fooling around with my backdrop, my background. Um, got some Bryce Harper back there. Kind of that one picture back there is uh, when he hit a walk-off grand slam, hit a moonshot. And even John Cruck was like, oh my God! I was sitting there watching it with my son at Tyler Eisman. Kind of brings back those memories. So I figure what the heck, we'll put it up there. Um... So, just experimenting. I don't do the old in and out, click back and forth, you know, of the, uh, hopefully, um, it doesn't make you guys not want to watch. Although I do have a face for radio, I will admit that. I am not a creature that the camera loves. But with that said, I am here to help you guys on your never-ending quest to sports card profiteering. Because that's what we're here for. That's what I'm here for. To make money and have fun along the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with that said, what we're going to talk about today, I'm not going to tell you about players who to buy or who to sell, but I'm going to try to give you some information that may help you along the way because we are in very close proximity to an exciting thing that's going to happen in the NBA, and that is the NBA draft that is coming up. And um, so, what experts are you guys looking for for guidance? You notice I didn't ask you what players are you looking to buy, or dare I say the I word, invest in. That would be premature and honestly fiscally irresponsible for me to even suggest. Because no one knows at this juncture who is going to succeed or who is going to fail. Not at this point. It is what we call total and utter speculation. There's nothing wrong with speculation. I speculate all the time. But I try to use education, information, and analysis when I speculate. Right now, it's tough. Why? We don't know where they're going to go. We don't know where these players are going to end up. And there's going to be guys that are going to be overlooked in this draft. And guys are going to excel that no one, or almost no one, saw coming. Some of the guys that are the hot topic now. Obi Toppin, uh, Killian Hayes, Denji. LaMelo, uh, the list goes on. Anthony Edwards, Andrew Wiseman, right? Those are the guys that are going. Now, look on eBay. Look what these prices are. And I'll talk a little bit about that in a second, but even now the prices are kind of crazy. And know what? no matter what anyone tells you guys, and I'm going to drill this consistently throughout this video, no one knows how these guys are going to perform until they step on the court and prove it to us. And as of this taping, hopefully we'll get it out a couple days prior to the taping, um, the draft has not taken place. Um, so until we know when, where these guys are going to end up and how they're going to fit on the team that is eventually going to draft them, we have no idea what's going to happen. And remember, and this is important, None of the influencers that are talking sports cards, sports card investing, flipping, collecting, have any idea 
what players in this upcoming draft are going to be successful. None of them do. None. Not a zilch. None of them do. Right? And therefore, not to be rude, but if these guys say that they do, they don't. They have no standing when it comes to that type of advice. And we talked about that before. Certain people do. Those guys don't. So it goes without saying, with what I just said, you guys should not be buying 2020 NBA rookie cards now at this juncture prior before the draft. Why? Well, obviously, as we just stated, buying cards at this juncture, it's not even speculative. It's fiscally irresponsible. You know, I spoke about in a prior video about when cards begin to dip. Usually it's 30 days in. This is kind of an interesting situation, right? We have to, first of all, we don't know who we want to buy. Maybe you do. Maybe that's great. I don't. Because I have to see what plays out. But right now there is what? Prism contenders draft picks and Prism draft picks. That's it. There are no other cards out there to even buy. Um, interestingly enough, you know, because it's 2020 and we're in this situation that we are, NBA cards are going to be delayed. We're not going to have Prism cards, the regular Prism cards with the guys not in their college uniforms till March of 2021. It's just the way it is. Strange times. And we all know from history, and maybe history changes, because God knows a lot of stuff has changed over the last year, but the uniforms of the college athlete, their college uniforms, are not as desirable for collectors as their pro uniforms. It just is. Now, there's certain players that you could still make money on. Um, John Morant, um, Zion Williamson, that their college uniforms are prism draft picks. Sure, you could you could have got them graded and made some money. But historically, it's just not the case. And you guys know that. So it's going to be interesting to see how prices move knowing that the product for the new players of the 2020 draft are just not available yet. Not in their professional uniforms. We don't even know where they're going to be yet, right? Um, now, if you love a guy and you want to PC him, you know, OB Toppin's your guy, buy him. I don't care. I'm never going to tell you how to spend your money. Just be careful. Not, well, not even be careful. Just watch the prices because they're going to go down. They've gone down since they've, the, the contenders came out. And Prism just came out a week ago. Um, prices have slowly but surely come down. They're still expensive, depending on the type of card that you want to get. If you want a parallel, you know, you want an auto, they're, they're up there. But if you got to have them, you got to have them. And I know I'm going to get a comment. It's, it's, I could call it now. That, you know, in six months from now, hey, Andy, I was on uh, Trey Jones. When you said don't buy them, I went on eBay and I bought 15 Trey Jones for $45 and now look at him. He's the next Trey Young and he's going to be the... That's cool. That's cool. That's fine. Look, a broken clock is, is right twice a day, dare I say. So congratulations. But I go with verified sources. And as I said, my goal is to view, give you guys insight and advice so you can avoid costly mistake mistakes which is kind of the segue i want to get into next when it comes to evaluating talent i look to a few people and one of the guys i want to share with you today is a guy by the name of rashad phillips um, full transparency he coached my kid he was a basketball trainer for my kid and that's how we met and i encourage you guys to google him rashad phillips Kobe Bryant once said that he was the best player never drafted. Pretty high praise from the great Kobe Bryant. He's got his own website, Rashad does, uh, where he goes into detail about the upcoming draft class. Uh, the information and insight he gives is second to none. It's fantastic. 
He gives you his top 60 prospects as well as a mock draft, along with a ton, a ton of other information. And the way he evaluates these players is, is just, to me, it's second to none, as I said before. Uh, you know, he'll tell you whether he believes this guy's going to be a utility player, a role player, uh, a star, a superstar, a hit or miss, you know, a long shot, whatever it is, he'll tell you. And that's good insight. That's insight that we have to know. How is this guy going to impact the class, impact the team he is going to go into? Another interesting thing, you'll see that his mock draft does not correlate with his top 60 products, and they should not, or his top 60 prospects, and they should not. Because teams draft is, oh, we're going to draft the best player available. Well, teams draft on need. And that comes into play because you could have the fifth best prospect going eighth or the fifth best prospect going one. I mean, is Golden State going to draft a point guard? I don't know. Again, I'm not a talent evaluator, nor am I a GM, but I would say no, right? So he looks at all of that. Um, and that's an important dynamic. Look at 2018, how that draft played out and actually played out after the guys were on their team. Um, I'll link his website um, to, for you to check it out. Um, all transparency, it's a paid website. It's a nominal fee, but the information that he gives is fantastic. And I'm not affiliated with the website in any way. Um, it is just my goal to give you guys the best information I can. And that's what I tried to do. Um, there's also an Instagram short video on Rashad. I'll try to link that also that explains who he is and where he came from and some of the accomplishments in his career. I mean, he played overseas. He played on the G League. He was in the, you know, several teams, um, summer leagues. And now he's found a niche of evaluating talent and training players. He knows guys before they're even on the radar, okay? So that's the kind of guy that I look to. That's the kind of guy that we should look to where our information is good, okay? Um, again, I'm just trying to give you the best resources out there. The draft is, you know, weeks away or a week away, less than a week away. And once after that draft period comes, we see where these guys go in. That's money time. That's where we make our money. When we start to look at players who we're going to target and buy. And we need all the information at our disposal to make the right decisions. Okay? And like I said before, there is no influencer out there right now, sports card influencer, who knows who is going to succeed in the upcoming draft. There's not. There's not. So it's going to be interesting to me to see after the draft who they tell you to jump on and buy. But just be careful and take what they say with a grain of salt because they do not know. They don't. And if they tell you they do, they're lying. They don't know. And look, I'm not going to look at hype videos and tell you who to buy. I'm not going to charge you for picks or information. That is not me. And I am definitely not going to pee on your leg and tell you it's raining. It's not what I do. What I will do is be honest with you. And I don't know how to evaluate basketball talent. I don't. I am not a basketball scout. But I do know how to process information and intelligence and analyze it and use it the best way I possibly can. And for me, it's important to have the best resources out there. And that's the best thing we can do to make our decisions proper and full and thorough and give us the best chance to succeed. So Rashad actually tweeted something out a little while ago that I thought was quite profound and it got me thinking and he hit it right on the head. It kind of goes with what I said a little while ago about learning who to trust and who not to trust and people who have their best in, your best interest in heart. You know, if they're charging you for picks or they have their Patreon page or whatever the case may be. And he said, you can learn from other people's mistakes. You don't always have to make them. And that is so true. You know, when I was with DEA, the worst thing that I had to do as a boss 
was to do after action examinations and analysis of things that went terribly wrong during an enforcement activity. And unfortunately, when DEA agents made mistakes or things went sideways or things just went way beyond their control, uh, bad things sometimes happened, really, really bad things. So we would examine those circumstances, we would review them so they wouldn't happen again. Or we would know what to do after to try to ensure that these things would not happen. Now, of course, collecting cards, we're not talking life and death issues. We're talking financial issues. And sometimes the mistakes that we make as card collectors, investors, flippers, buyers, sellers, whatever we're doing, could be costly financial errors and that could be devastating to us. And we don't want that to happen. Taking it a step further, John Ron once said, it's important to learn from your mistakes, but it is better to learn from other people's mistakes and it is best to learn from other people's successes. It accelerates your own success. And my goal, my goal has always been to give you the best tools to succeed to avoid mistakes that could cost you. Let the other guys do that. Let the other guys make mistakes. There's plenty of them out there. Look at YouTube. Just check the influencers that are, uh, you know, doing sports cards. They made mistakes. They made terrible financial mistakes. It cost themselves thousands of dollars. You know, use their mistakes as a learning experience. And let's move forward. That's all I want to do, right? And again, I don't put out videos every week. I don't put them out twice a week. So I try to get them out every couple of weeks. Like I've been, you know, I've been trying to get back into it. I do a lot of consulting work as you guys. I told you that before. But my goal is to just keep you guys informed of situations and to ensure that the best information I can give you will help you along the way. And that's it. That's all we can do. So, I have been teasing for the last three episodes about giving away our PSA 9 Damian Lillard rookie card. 2012 Damian Lillard rookie card. The one that boomeranged back to me because it had a scratch that correlated with him getting hurt. Coincidence? I don't think so. But, for one of you lucky guys, it is definitely beneficial that that happened. So, how are we going to do that? Well, all you draft experts, it's easy. Subscribe to the channel. Like the channel. Got to do that, right? Shameless plug. And in the comment section, just say subscribed. And I believe the seventh pick of this year's NBA draft is Namo. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Patrick Williams? Is it going to be R.J. Hampton? Is it going to be Obi Toppin? Is he going to drop down? Um, is it going to be Killian Hayes? Is it going to be Denji? Is it going to... Who is it going to be? I don't know. I have no idea. So take your best shot. Take a guess, because that's all it's going to be. It could be educated. I guess you could look at a bunch of mock drafts and see who they have going seventh. But here's the deal. The seventh pick overall, you put it down there, like, subscribe, seventh round pick. Whoever gets it right will get that card. And if there's more than one guy that gets it or gal that gets it right, we'll put them a random and we'll pick one of those, okay? And so with that, I appreciate the time that you always spend with me. Our community is growing and much appreciated. So. Until next time, take care.